uma borda pra fazer isso. Game 4 of the Western Conference Semifinals. The Warriors have simply been on a rampage, storming through the finals, and with a commanding 3-0 lead, they now have a chance to do what very few teams have even dreamed of. Can they sweep their way to the Larry O'Brien Trophy in a Game 4 against the Grizzlies? Round 2 of the NBA playoffs continue, coming right up. What's up, y'all? Cuzzo here. Got another one for you. I'm going through the playoffs of my, my career, so I said, you know what? I want to put all the good games on there. And we got a game four against the Grizzlies. I was playing the series, and I'm kind of sweeping them. Still on All-Star. And I'm still having to sweep them, so I might take it up a little higher in the next round. But we got fucking running 2K on the sideline, and um, we got a good one for you. John Morant versus Cuzzo here on Cuzzo YouTube. All the new people, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys, and let's get into the game. Start out with the ball. Pass to Jackson. Takes a three. The Warriors pull it in. There was a mix-up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. The general, no good. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Here's Kennard. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Can't let Kennard get this close. Once you do, he's going up with it. Curry passes to the general. Back to Curry. Inside. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. B.A., the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powered at home like that. Now here's Moran. Takes him, takes it inside. Looney grabs a miss. How much mustard on that hot dog do you really need? I know he's going for the big finish, but he didn't need to do all that. Oh, and Jackson with the block. You've got to be alert whenever Jaren is nearby lurking because he's a superb shot blocker. Pass to Moran. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. So Jaws, he's, he's attacking right now. Okay, Jaws. No was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Green with the ball. Fires the three. Hits the trifecta. The Generals got five points. The beauty of Draymond as a facilitator. Really sees the entire floor. Now here's Kennard. Got a lot of room. Pass to Jackson. up on the baseline it's not going to go for him everything worked except for the outcome you want him to shoot that every time outside green the three from thompson grizzlies with the rebound and here's conchar pass to moran Here's Conchar, defended by Thompson. That free throw misses. Throw is good. 
First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Moran against Curry. Pass to the general. Stolen by Jackson. Moran with it. Now guarded by Curry. Kennard, right side. Here's Conchar. He buries it from three. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. And Curry's got the ball here for Golden State. They trail by three. And we're about three minutes into this first quarter. Pass to the general. Jabarant grabs the miss. Memphis has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Conchar outside. Jackson for three. And again, it's the Grizzlies from deep. This is a big part of Jackson's game. It isn't the best-looking shot, but it's deadly. Out to the wing to stop the run. Conchar pulls it in. Yeah, just a little off his game this quarter. He's trying to work his way into a rhythm. Oh! It's blocked by Green. On the break. Goes back up. And Looney with the lay-in. The effort from Looney on the offensive glass. A hustle player who really wills himself out there. Memphis has gone two for three from outside the arc. Time called here. The Grizzlies decide to Yeah, this is tough. They really are playing me. love to hear what goes on in those huddles. But we just get the snapshots. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. So both teams making some changes. I sub me. Good, 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 good. second quarter now back to Rose that went off the back iron and out Golden State has gone two of four from the perimeter in the second so far they've got Stephen Curry Jonathan Kaminga is out there with Andrew Wiggins then there's Kavon Looney, and it's the general in at the two. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Thanks, guys. Well, the general, their last time out against the Grizzlies, was simply terrific. He tallied 32 points, and he was locked in from deep. But when hasn't he been? So when you look at all of that, it was obviously just a great night for him, playing with a ton of heart. Back to you guys. I got a D-plus grade? Right? Damn. It was obvious he could do anything he wanted. A fantastic win. Well, I'll tell you. He was enjoying himself out there, kind of like us here in the broadcast booth. And whoever was matched up against him wasn't enjoying themselves. What I like is they just kept calling his number. Sometimes we see coaches go away from what's working, and we wonder why. Here's the general. Back to Curry. And he was Damn, I'm trying right to get there. out of there. Call. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Clay Thompson comes in for Peyton. A big group substitution here for Memphis. Steven Adams checked in for Tillman. Conchar comes in for Jaron Jackson Jr. Kennard, he's checked in for Christopher. And it's Ja Morant in for Rose. Olenek with a screen on Curry. Morant, the pass to Conchar. Five to shoot. Memphis needs to get off a shot. It's stolen by Looney. Here's the general. Conchar covers the general. Chance there to take the lead, but a miss. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless advantage. Conchar up top, defended by Thompson. Kennard against Looney. Pocket six. Let's go with a three. And Kennard with the three. Kadar's got five. We've seen Kadar steadily increase his three-point shots. Terrific accuracy here. Over to the left wing from the arc. 
Reigns the triple. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition, and the fans love it as well. Now here's Moran. Olenek with a screen on Curry. Moran finds Olenek. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. And the Grizzlies another. lead by three. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Jimmy Butler injured against the Celtics. Uh-oh. Got a pinched nerve. Ooh. Yeah, I'm doing a um, and playoff the game. So far, here are some of the players who have been distributing the ball the best. In the third spot, John Morant. I really admire how he seeks out. His Let me know when you're ready. His selfless attitude and desire to get his guys going oh. is what makes him such right. a valuable player. Here's the general. Oh, nice D from Canard. He's had a tough time getting it going, and he's put this team behind the eight ball. Second quarter, 45 seconds. 44 seconds left in the this is going quick, though. From deep, Moran. Warriors with the rebound. And we haven't seen them pound the ball inside and draw as much contact this quarter. Stolen by Kennard. To the paint. Here's Adams. Ooh, and Adams strong finish. With a high basketball IQ and improving playmaking abilities, Luke's groin as a distributor. The Grizzlies making a switch here. Jackson is checked in. And so it's Paul who brings up the ball for Golden State. It's a five-point game. 11 feet out. Good on the jump shot. Paul's got his first basket. Chris Paul excels at taking what the defense gives him. That's why he is so effective in the mid-range. Pass to Kennard. Launches a three. That shot, no good. And a pretty tightly contested game here as we end the first half. Grizzlies out in front, leading by three. What happened? I got to figure out my cue for this shot. Mm. It's a nice shot. It's just it's slow. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow on 2K Sports. The elbow. No, I'm not green that. It keeps keep going in. It's like the early every time. The difference in this game, the free throw disparity. They've been too complacent on the offensive end and defensively, no discipline. Yep, giving away points at the charity stripe makes their job much more difficult. Looking at the series breakdown for the Warriors. A chance to sweep the series and get a little rest before their next matchup. Kenny, when you played, did you like a long rest? Not as much as I do now, but short or long rest, I'll tell you. You got to take care of business. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. Hmm. It's always slightly early. I gotta figure out what is it. I'm about to do something to slow it down by a couple. Right, and we figure out what's going on. We welcome you back to game four, folks. Thanks for joining us. Here's the general. On the court for the Grizzlies. Jackson Jr. and Adams guard the paint together. Luke Kennard out there with Ja Moran. And it's Conchar in at the three. Small forward. Now here's Conchar. Left side, Moran. Oh, Moran. Damn, good defense, stuff. Good try. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. The Warriors trailing. Over to the wing. Here's the general. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. Curry's got four assists now tonight. Showing off the vision, stepping Curry, wasting no time finding his open man. Morant into the lane. Morant drives inside. They have no answer defensively inside. And it's the Warriors with the ball. 
second half getting started about a minute play the general no good Memphis has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter Curry against Moran pass to Kennard here's the three Looney grabs a miss Looney's got a six rebound on the night the general passes to Green and the foul on Steven Adams that's his first foul he didn't have his feet planted. Curry finds Green. Thompson a screen on Jackson. Green with the ball. Jackson in his pocket. Four on the clock. Here's the general. Shaky start to the half. Going one for four. Still trying to find that game. Moran looking for an opening. Kicks it out to Kennard. Let's it go from deep. Called in by Curry. Golden State has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Looking to get it going. The general, no good. Damn, son. Able to get it going this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. The Warriors have gotten just one of five shots to drop since halftime. Tries the spin move. Pass to Looney. It's rebounded by Memphis. Adams has got six rebounds here tonight. Conchar, pass to Moran. Moran with the slam! Man, oh man, one of the more advanced ball handlers we've ever seen at his age. John Moran able to create scoring opportunities for himself. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. Making a change here. Wiggins is checked in. Olenek's checked in for Memphis. Derrick Rose comes in for Conchar. Well, the Warriors shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Impressive one-hand slam right there, PA. Man, as long as he's confident about it, I'm good with it. Maybe use two hands next time. He knows where he is. Moran, pass to Rose. Back to Moran. Oh, Moran from close range. He busted his ass. Ten straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. To the wing on the left. Takes the three. Gets the three to fall. The General's got 16 points now. He's hit a pair of threes each half, making a significant impact. Screen by Olenek. From 11 feet away, Rhodes can't connect. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. So it's Moran who brings up the ball for the Memphis Grizzlies. 107 left to play in the third. Olenek with the screen on Curry. From deep, Moran. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. The general passes to Wiggins. Pass to Curry. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Stephen Curry continues to develop all aspects of his game. Next step was to get the ball into the paint. He's done that. And the Grizzlies. Both teams making substitutions here.
Fourth quarter, three minutes to go. Andrew Wiggins is out there with Gary Payton the second. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then it's Kaminga. And it's the general in at the two. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Rose against Curry. Olenek with a screen on Curry. Here's Rose. Here's Olenek. Shot clock at five. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Rose. Olenek's gotten four this quarter. To the inside. Here's the general. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. I just love the aggressive finish. Oh, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. To the middle. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Nice pass by Derrick Rose, spotting a wide open guy from the corner of his eye. Outside Curry. Jacks up a three. Let's go, Curry. Damn. Come on, Steph. Rebound in this one. Curry against Rose. Come on, Steph. Give me that. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's the general. He can't get it to go. Oh, nice D from Kennard. Having a shaky time from the floor, but his teammates have been picking up the slack. Oh no. That puts him in the lead. That's a veteran play by Kelly O'Lenning. Helps his team with that bucket. Damn, I couldn't run out to him. The Warriors decide to talk it over. And the Warriors make some changes. Looney's checked in for Kaminga. Draymond Green comes in for Andrew Wiggins. And it's Clay Thompson in for Peyton. Down low. And the powerful one-handed slam. Coming down the stretch. We'll see if someone can capture the lead and hold it. And that's been an issue. Five lead exchanges tonight. Jackson with a screen on Curry. Moran pass to Jackson. Kicks it out to Kennard. Offline with a three. Just enough of a shot contest to bother. Stolen by Jackson. Outside Morant. Kennard outside. Jackson against Curry. Jackson can't get it to go. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. And one, so bitch. Guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for the Warriors? They are making it rain from the three-point slightly right late. Now. And the coaching staff continues to encourage them to let it fly. They're also doing a good job working the ball inside tonight. The defense has been struggling to slow them down there in the paint. And right about now at this point in the game, there can be a massive difference between a two and three-point advantage. Plenty of space. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's got rebound number five here tonight. The general. Adams grabs the miss. Memphis has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. We've got 108 left in the fourth quarter. Just a phenomenal job by Klay Thompson. A defender who can guard a lot of different guys. He plays in your face defense. Oh, man. He got fancy with that finish. <laughs> he may be trying to provide the spark they need to break this one open. Now here's Moran. The D's right on him. There's 45 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Thompson against Kennard. Down to five on the shot clock. There's Jackson with the three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. He hits the first one. And that puts him up five. You've got to love Clay Thompson's work ethic. He's an elite scorer, but he's no slouch on the other end of the floor as well. He gives you his all. Good job. Want to keep fueling that lead. Make your free throws. That was kind of hard this game. They're behind by six. 
There's 31 seconds left in the fourth. All right, guys, what's your take? Searching for a fast bucket, then a way to stretch things out. And on the defensive end, they'll have to foul whomever gets the ball. No time left to be picky. It hasn't been all bad shots for him, but you wouldn't know that looking at his percentage from the field. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. And he does get the second one. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Time called here. The Grizzlies decide to talk it over. They're trailing by seven. There's 25 seconds left in the game. Can they get it? Wow. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. Every team needs a closer in the clutch. Morant proven he's that guy. He drops the first one, and that increases the lead to six. He hits both free throws here, and it's a seven-point game. And so Moran will bring it up for the Memphis Grizzlies. Launches it. It falls! Wow. And now they trail by just four. Big moment. Not too much for Jaren. What a play. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the play. First free throw is good, and that puts him up five. them both and it's a six-point ball game and that's a wrap those free throws being the nail in the coffin there's Jackson with the three and the rebound goes to the Warriors and so they foul intentionally so the first one drops and that makes it a seven-point lead So he drops them both, and it's an eight-point ball game. Fires away from way outside. And so the Golden State Warriors have won the series. It's a clean sweep. They have no issues winning the series. They're off to the conference finals. And they're playing with such confidence. I think it wasn't that bad. The best basketball of anyone in the league. They're a force. They never gave up on themselves. Oh, he crying. Gave oh, don't cry. And they slowly but surely fought their way back. Time for us to say goodbye. We hope you enjoyed our second round coverage of the NBA Western Conference playoffs. For Steve Smith, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. So long, everyone.